Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Born in Dauphine, France, Peter desired nothing more to, than to be a Cistercian monk. He entered early in his life to the monastery and even convinced most of his family to also join religious life. He was selected to be the abbot of a new Cistercian house in Taimé of the Tarentiers Hills. Once there, he befriended a powerful count and constructed a hospital for the infirmed. His days were filled with peace and fruitful joy as he was able to humbly serve and converse with those who found themselves at the hospital. He desired for nothing more in his life, but tell God that you're happy where you're at and he'll one-up you every time. The Diocese of Tarentes was beginning to fall apart, all due to the careless bishop. He was so lax and incompetent that he was removed from his position. Peter was nominated as the perfect leader of the diocese. He was reluctant to accept, but desired to serve the church even if it went against his own personal desires. Immediately, he got to work. Careless clergy were replaced with canons, holy priests were assigned to parishes, and regularly he visited those around his entire diocese. But wait, there's more. He made education for young feasible, arranged foundations for the poor, and reinstated proper liturgical practices that had been lost to many around the diocese. The life of a bishop was beginning to take a toll on him. After 13 years, Bishop Peter secretly fled and hid in a monastery in Switzerland. He was able to enjoy the life he was so desperately desiring to return to for about a year before he was forced to return to his new superiors. His homecoming was one of great celebration. Bishop Peter picked back up with founding new ministries, including refuge for travelers in the Alpines and the custom of pan de mai, or maybread, free soup and bread meals for those who are in the mountainous regions. Bishop Peter also began speaking out in favor of the true Bishop of Rome, Pope Alexander III. He even went as far as to hold an audience with the emperor who was more in favor of the anti-Pope Victor. Bishop Peter spoke with such sanctity and courage that the emperor allowed him to speak freely without any consequences. He received such an honorable reputation for his delivery of truth that Pope Alexander requested Bishop Peter intercede for the warring kings, King Louis VII of France and King Henry II of England. Despite his old age, Bishop Peter agreed and even made frequent slops along the way to preach to the cities and villages. Although he wasn't able to reconcile the kings, he was able to finally return to his abbey in Tarentes, where he passed in the year 1175 and was canonized shortly after by Pope Celestine III in 1191. St. Peter desired a simple life, but he humbly listened to where God was calling him. He was able to touch so many lives at the abbot of Tarentes and went on to impact the lives of countless more as bishop. Where's God calling us? Are we willing to give up the life we think we want for the greater gifts and blessings God can give us? St. Peter of Tarentes, pray for us.